Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, some really interesting video here for us. Uh, let's see here uh, these three major flagships right now on the market. The Exynos 9820, Snapdragon 855 and Kirin 980. So I have Samsung S10 E version, Xiaomi Mi 9 in the middle and Huawei Mate 20 on the right side. Uh, both of them are updated to the latest version, so everything is as it is. Uh, Ninjas, we're gonna do CPU throttling test and we're gonna also show you the benchmarks and do benchmark for these three smartphones. Uh, let me just show you right now that everything is as it is. 18 nanometer, 7 nanometer, 7 nanometer chip technology, bro. Regarding the GPU wise, which I don't even we don't even care for this one right now for the gaming comparisons You can check it on my YouTube channel Mali G76 Adreno 640 Mali G76 bro Remember both all three smartphones are running Android 9 Pi the latest one the latest version the latest version 2.7 2.8 2.6 2.6 Arm Cortex A55 Qualcomm Creo 485 Cortex A55 Beautiful. Anyway, so let's do it. Let's first show you the Antutu score. There we go, Ninja. Antutu score. So the highest score there scores, the, of course, the Snapdragon 855, 376,000. Check the GPU score here, uh, 157,000. Also, the good GPU score here with the Mali G76. Big difference here between the Exynos 9, 820, and the Kirin 918, Ninjas. Big, big difference here, I have to admit. 148,000 versus 111,000. Anyway, this is it regarding, like I said here, you have it on my YouTube channel, you have speed tests between these three smartphones, so check it out. Uh, this is right now just an Antutu score and CPU throttling test for the geeks out there. Let's see what is happening. Let me just find the CPU throttling app. We are, I'm gonna try to fast forward uh, this test why not just because it needs at least 10 minutes it needs uh, at least 10 minutes one two three four go uh, also i have a power mode uh, basically the speed mode power mode or whatever you call it the speed mode sorry for that the performance mode activated with the mate 20. remember that anyway we're gonna leave it as it is like i said i'm gonna fast forward this video i'm gonna see what's gonna happen after 10 minutes with smartphone uh, if some smartphone is th throttling, this uh, app will show it. This app will show it. What that means, CPU throttling means ninjas that if you are a hardcore gamer, you're not gonna have a, a consistency in the gaming performance in the FPS, uh, basically stability. Maybe at the beginning you're gonna be amazed by the speed, but later on, as soon uh, as mo as long as you play it more and more and more, you're gonna feel more stutters, ninjas. Anyway, well, let's see. Let's see here, bro. What's gonna happen? Okay Ninja, so just quickly on the end for a half minute, uh, you can see by yourself here the conclusions, your own impressions, so you have the results Ninjas, you can see by yourself that something is happening uh, happening with the Samsung S10e Exynos variant, uh, it does throttle Ninjas, it does, it does throttle, it doesn't have the same steady reliable performance as the basically Snapdragon A55, Mi 9 and the Huawei Mate 20. Uh, what I noticed also Mi 9 it goes a little bit down below to, uh, below and next to the Exynos uh, next to the Kirin 980 which is very interesting Kirin 980 for now with this result with this app it's it kind of has the best CPU throttling out there man it's kind of non-existent almost it, it's there it's there slight small one but still really impressive uh, reliable and steady performance with the uh, with the Kirin 980 which I did praise in my review uh, PUBG and all those games heavy games are running really insane man of course uh, Adreno 640 is still on the paper better GPU than the Mali G76 six Anyway, disappointment here from the Samsung uh, company here. They didn't. I don't know. I don't know if they are able to basically optimize this software. I don't think so, Ninjas. I don't think so. You're gonna have the CPU throttling forever. So this is it. What do you get? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but this is a really a bad thing. And again and again and again, my mainstream reviewers, nobody cares for this thing, and nobody even told you about this thing, Ninjas. I'm gonna even make a special video where I'm gonna make a rant and tell you. I thought, I thought it's up to the game developers. I thought, Ninjas, I thought, honestly, I thought that the Samsung S10e doesn't have a 
CPU throttling. It, it has a really amazing performance as the, of course, the rest of these two uh, flagship processors, but it seems that it's not uh, all up to the game developers about the gaming. I thought that uh, many games are not optimized. Maybe there's also a small, small percentage that they are not optimized, but you can see by itself that this is also a big factor that it does, uh, it does throttle ninjas. It does throttle. You can see by itself it is a big difference. Uh, example, uh, Exynos 9820 to the Kirin 980, it's a big, big difference ninjas in the CPU throttling. You can see by itself how sustain, sustained performance it is of the Kirin 980. It's absolutely insane. And great job, great job Huawei again and again. Great SOC ninjas. Honestly, it's a great processor. Anyway, if you like this video, please make sure to share it everywhere on the forums, share it everywhere, whatever uh, somebody done a review without uh, obviously mentioning this thing, but they probably even never even tested. Uh, but I don't know how in the heck they play the games, they probably uh, should know it. Uh, I'm talking of the globally available Exynos version. Snapdragon is only available in USA, Ninjas. Remember that most of us will have this uh, version, not the Snapdragon version. I don't know, uh, does the Snapdragon throttle? I don't think it does, but I don't have it and I didn't see anybody doing it. Maybe already somebody done a CPU throttling test for the Snapdragon version, but uh, this is right now for me, side by side, three different processes, three flagships for all of you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed in this video. Have a beautiful day, night, wherever you are. Check my other videos and in the description you're gonna have the buying links for these devices. Masalama. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from Chicka Chicka Ching 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 China? That is the Gearbest.com and Banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!